The problem of physical death was solved 20 centuries ago by the true homo deus, Jesus Christ, the man who really was God, who died and was physically raised from the dead by the power of God. He has broken the hold that death has on humanity. Transhumanism seeks to turn humans into gods. But the core message of Christianity is that there's been a movement in the opposite direction. God himself has become human. Now, this is so revolutionary that I plead with people to listen to what it has to say before they reject it out of hand. Because, you see, Christ promises that everyone who hears his word and believes that God sent him will receive a new life, will not come into judgment, that's the moral issue, but has already passed from death to life. That person also enters into peace with God. And who of us is there that does not want peace? That person will receive a new joy and power to live. But there's even more to it than that. Those who seek to upgrade humans should listen carefully to the Christian scenario. It is this, that Jesus will one day return to this earth and raise from the dead all those who have trusted him. And to use contemporary AI language, he will upload them physically into a new and very real world that we know as heaven, where they will live forever exploring the wonder of God and his works. It's very interesting to me to know that the word transhuman was first used in connection, not with science, but in an English translation of Dante's Paradiso, where Dante tries to imagine the resurrection of his own body, saying, Words may not tell of that transhuman change. This is the true transhumanism. Now, of course, this all depends on Christianity being true. But as I've written in my book 2084, there's a great deal more evidence for its truth than there is for the realization of Harari's transhuman dreams. Indeed, we need to be very careful, don't we, before we start trying to re-engineer humans. Why? Because human beings are unique creations made in the image of God, making them so special that God himself became one of them as Jesus Christ. The word became flesh and dwelt among us.